Uh, this is uh, North Keswick, which is uh, this side of the Keswick Bridge, which leads over to Inverness over there. This is the Black Isle, a uh, Dingwall, the town where Ross County are by and large based, is just up the road from here, about 15 or 20 minutes or so. Uh, we've come here to speak to one of the club's summer signings. Uh, Jan Dander uh, agreed a two-year contract with the Staggies uh, a little while ago. Uh, well, Jan, great to have you with us in the Scottish game. What attracted you to, to this move and playing for Ross County then? So uh, in the summer I had quite a few conversations with the manager at Ross County and I met him and I just really liked what he had to say really. He, uh, he really rated me as a player and he wanted me to come to the club and, and offer something different here. So we had uh, quite a lot of positive conversations and obviously the project he was building here and how well the lads done last year and he wanted to, to push on from it and, and try and get into Europe and he wanted me to be part of that. So after many positive conversations it was some someone I wanted to play for and this was somewhere I wanted to be for the next step in, in my career. A big move in terms of your career, what kind of things do you weigh up when you're making this kind of decision? Uh, to be honest I was watching quite a lot of Scottish football from the moment Ross County said that they were interested in, in signing me so I made sure I watched how the team played and what Scottish football was like. Obviously it is, it is different to England so I had to see what was different and, and, try, and, and try and do those things and improve in certain aspects of my game so I was watching a lot of Scottish football and then obviously if I'm moving here I have to look places to live and obviously where the training ground is and stuff like that so once I'd done my research and obviously after the many positive conversations with the manager I just wanted to get here and get started. Frustrating kind of last six eight months or so with Swans you didn't play very much how difficult a period is that as a, as a footballer when you, when you think you could play but you can't play? Yeah it was it was difficult to be honest I had quite a tough time last season I think a lot of things went on behind the scenes and I weren't really too happy with the way I was treated but that's that's in the past now and I just want to look forward to, to playing for Ross County last season's over and I've tried to keep myself as, as fit as possible ready to go into this season as sharp as I can. I was going to say how sharp are you because it's difficult to get your rhythm I guess when you're not playing competitive games that often. Yeah so it was difficult last season obviously not playing many competitive games but I just had to make sure that I was doing a lot of training away from away from the football the football ground and, and the training ground and just keep myself as sharp as possible. Obviously it's hard to keep your match fitness when you're not playing but now I'm just using pre season to get as many minutes as I can and just take it step by step and, and build up my minutes for the season starting. You've had plenty of chats then with Malky Mackay. What's he said to you about what he wants from you and his team this season? First of all I think he just really likes me as a player and he made me feel wanted and that's all I, all I can ask for from a manager really. He says that obviously I can offer something different in the team and he likes my style of play and, and they're looking for, for my position so everything he said was, was music to my ears to be fair and he said everything I wanted to hear from a manager and now it's just I have to go on the pitch and, and repay him really and, and show him what I can do and, and try and light up the Scottish Premiership and obviously just last year they missed out on Europe but I'm hoping this year I can be part of it and, and take Ross County into, into Europa League spaces. Just finally, I know you've spoken in the past a lot about you, you know, your Indian heritage and how keen you are to be a role model for others trying to come through. Does this move maybe open you up to a whole new audience you could potentially inspire with, with people of similar backgrounds here in Scotland? Yeah, I think everyone knows I'm super proud of my heritage and, and where I come from and I've spoke quite a lot about bringing South Asians through in, in the youth levels and, and I'm happy to see that you are starting to see a lot more now and I think over the next few years you will see more and more but obviously there is still a problem and we need to try and work hard at solving it but yeah I'm just super proud to be up here in Scotland now representing and hopefully there'll be many more following. Yeah.